In this video, we're going to work on example 5.5, which asks us to use the ACSM equation for predicting VO2 for slope running to determine who will burn more calories. Will it be person A, a 60 kilogram woman who runs up a 2% grade at a speed of 160 meters per minute for 22 minutes, or a 50 kilogram woman who runs up a 3% grade at a speed of 165 meters per minute for 24 minutes? So given the equation from the problem, we're going to fill in per woman A's speed. So it would be 0 0.2 times 160 meters per minute plus 0 0.9 times 160 meters per minute multiplied. She's running up a 2% grade, so in decimal form that's going to be 0 0.02 plus 3.5. So when we do the calculation, this comes out to 32 meters per minute plus 2.88 meters per minute plus 3.5 to give us a total VO2 uptake of 38.38. And the units for VO2 uptake are milliliters of O2 per kilogram minute. So once we have our VO2 uptake, we want to remember that the problem was asking us who will burn more calories. So we need to convert our VO2 to calories. So we know that the woman weighed 60 kilograms and she had been running for 22 minutes. So if we multiply these by the value we got for our VO2 uptake, we can cross out our units and we get the value of 50,661.6 milliliters of O2. Now from a previous slide in lecture 5, we know that 1 milliliter of O2 is equal to 4.8 calories. So in order to convert our value from milliliters of oxygen to calories, we'll take 50,661.6 50, milliliters of O2 multiplied by 4.8 eight calories over one milliliter of O2. Your milliliters of oxygen cancel out and you get a value of a very large number, 243,175.68 calories. Now if we want to go and make this an easier number, we could just divide this by a thousand because we know that there are a thousand calories in one kilocalorie. And by doing that, we get 243.18 kilocals. So now let's determine how many calories person B will have. So again, we're going to use the equation 0 0.2 times the speed plus 0 0.9 times the speed times the grade plus 3.5. So woman B was running at a speed of 165 meters per minute. So let me go and fill that in. And she was running up a 3% grade, so that's going to be 0 0.03 plus 3.5. So when we do the math for this one, we get 33 meters per minute plus 4.46 meters per minute plus 3.5. And that gives us a total VO2 uptake of 40.96 milliliters of O2 per kilogram minute. Again, we want to take this value and convert it into calories, but first we have to get rid of our kilograms per minute, or times minute. So we know that this woman weighs 50 kilograms, and she's been running for 24 minutes. So again, we're going to multiply and cancel out our units, and we're going to get a value of 49,146 milliliters of O2. And again, we know that one milliliter of O2 is equal to 4.8 calories. So we multiply this by 4.8, cancel out our units, and this brings us to a number that is 235. 1,900.8 calories. And again, if we want to convert this to kilocals, we would just do divided by 1,000. Makes the number a little easier to deal with. And we get an answer of 235.9 kilocals. So we know that person A will burn 243.18 kilocalories, while person B will burn 235.9 kilocalories. So therefore, person A will be the one to burn more calories.